Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you some things you might not already know about the Great Tit. In 2021, the Great Tit came in at eighth place for the UK's Big Garden Birdwatch, and there are thought to be around two million of them living here. Throughout the autumn and winter, they live in small flocks mixed with other small bird species, but they are easily recognised by their striking black caps and white cheek patches. They also have green shoulders with a bright yellow chest which has a dark line running down its centre. This line is the easiest way to separate the sexes. In the males it is thicker and runs all the way down the stomach, whereas in the females it's less pronounced and might fade out as it runs down the body. They have a wingspan of 25 centimetres and grow to a maximum weight of 22 grams. Although great tits are found all across Northern Europe, those in the UK have longer beaks than their continental cousins. Scientists believe that these rapidly evolved in order to reach the food from inside garden bird feeders. Great tits are one of the most common species that visit these garden feeders, where they seem to enjoy peanuts, sunflower hearts and fat balls. But during the spring and summer when invertebrates are in high supply, this is their food of choice, particularly spiders and other small insects which they pick from the underside of leaves and from crevices amongst the bark. Where these insects are out of reach, great tits have been known to use pine needles to extract them. During the colder months, alongside the food that people provide, they will also eat fruits and berries. Great tits begin to claim nesting sites and territories from as early as January, but usually don't begin to build their nest until March or April. They usually nest in holes or cavities and quite often make use of man-made nest boxes. The nest is a deep cup-shaped structure of moss, twigs and grass, lined with feathers and down, and once it's completed, the female will lay around 12 eggs that are cream in colour, speckled with brown. She will incubate these eggs alone for 13 days until they hatch, at which point both parents take on the feeding duties. With so many mouths to feed, they are constantly in and out of the nest carrying beakfuls of caterpillars and insects. From this high protein diet the chicks grow fast and can be ready to fledge the nest from as little as 16 days. After this the parents continue to feed them for another two weeks until they are fully independent. Each pair usually has two batches of young in a season but in good years they may nest for a third time. Great tits have an amazing repertoire of calls and have been known to mimic other species. The most common song they produce is a repetitive teacher teacher. I was once told that if you hear a bird noise you don't recognise, it's most likely a great tit. The average lifespan for a great tit is around three years but the oldest on record was a whopping 13 years and 11 months old. Well, there we go. Hopefully you've learned something new about the great tit. Now if you did enjoy this video, check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.